Ensure that all the necessary tools are at hand. See also the data sheet in procedure 905-3. To gain access to the main bearing and to allow the mounting of the crankshaft lifting tool, turn the crank throw towards the exhaust side of the engine. The nuts may be self-locking or provided with a special locking device. Be careful when using this feeler gauge, as in certain circumstances it can scratch the bearing metal. Take special care that no damage occurs to the bearing shells while they are being removed.
It is important that the location of the markings on the bearing shells be noted so that the shells can be reinstalled in the correct position. Replace the snap-on connectors of the hydraulic jacks with angular snap-on connectors. Check the lift of the crankshaft with two dial gauges. Check that the side clearances are sufficient to allow the free movement of the bottom shell during its dismantling. To extract the bottom shell, mount two special silk wires on opposite sides of the shell. Pull on one wire to roll the shell out and on the other wire to steady the shell. If the bearing shell meets resistance while it is being rolled out, roll it slightly back by pulling on the other wire. It is important that the location of the markings on the bearing shells be noted so that the shells can be reinstalled in the correct position. Ensure that the main bearing saddle and journal are completely clean before reinstalling the main bearing. It is important to ensure that the main bearing shells are reinstalled in the positions indicated by the markings. Lubricate the bearing journal, main bearing support and the back of the shell with clean lubricating oil. Once the bearing shell has been turned down into place, remove the wires and adjust the position of the shell before relieving the hydraulic tool of pressure.
it is important to ensure that the main bearing shells are reinstalled in the positions indicated by the markings. Check that the upper shell is correctly positioned in the main bearing saddle. Ensure that the area around the main bearing studs and the threads of the studs are carefully cleaned before tightening the main bearing. When the nuts have been tightened with a tommy bar, maintain the hydraulic pressure and check with a feeler gauge that the nuts bear against the contact faces. Be careful when using this feeler gauge, as in certain circumstances it can scratch the bearing metal. The nuts may be self-locking or provided with a special locking device. When all oil pipes have been mounted, remove all tackles and tools from the engine and reinstall the covers and doors. To simplify the dismantling of the aftmost main bearing cap, remove the small cover over the main bearing on the outside of the engine so that the wire rope can be passed through the opening down to the main bearing cap.
Be careful when using this feeler gauge, as in certain circumstances it can scratch the bearing metal. Make sure that you wear protective goggles and gloves when working with the hydraulic tools under pressure. Rig up tackles so that the foremost bearing cap can be lifted right out of the engine. Do not lift the aftmost bearing cap out of the engine, simply lift it up and secure it along the frame box wall. Take special care that no damage occurs to the bearing shells while they are being removed. It is important that the location of the markings on the bearing shells be noted so that the shells can be reinstalled in the correct position. Mount a lifting tool above the chain wheel so that the clearance required to turn the bottom shell upwards can be obtained. Yeah. 
Once the chain wheel has been turned to the relevant position, mount the pulling stud. After mounting the hydraulic jack, make sure that it bears firmly and evenly on the entire contact surface. Check that the side clearances are sufficient to allow the free movement of the bottom shell during its dismantling. Using the jack, push the crankshaft sideways until a side clearance of at least five hundredth of a millimetre is obtained. To extract the bottom shell, mount two special silk wires on opposite sides of the shell. Pull on one wire to roll the shell out and on the other wire to steady the shell. If the bearing shell meets resistance while it is being rolled out, roll it slightly back by pulling on the other wire. Ensure that the main bearing saddle and journal are completely clean before reinstalling the main bearing. It is important to ensure that the main bearing shells are reinstalled in the positions indicated by the markings.
Once the bearing shell has been turned down into place, remove the wires and adjust the position of the shell before relieving the hydraulic tool of pressure. Ensure that the area around the main bearing studs and the threads of the studs are carefully cleaned before tightening the main bearing.
When all oil pipes have been mounted, remove all tackles and tools from the engine and reinstall the covers and doors.